And we are here at 44, 44 20th Street over here at Eureka, which is right over there. Kite Hill is nice beyond there. Eureka keeps going that way. It's one of the more special blocks. I love this block a lot too. A few of our colleagues live on this block and just literally beautiful homes. We take a look at that one. Ornamented, designed, and really special. Speaking of that, Brendan Kearney, one of our friends who is now at Compass, has this fantastic listing, 4444 20th Street. It is super unique, super special, I think, and really big. And there's a lot of designs, choices, and uh, senses of style that are very, I just love it, bold, but exciting at the same time. Got the traditional medallion here, and of course, you've got the Queen Anne sort of style here with the bay window here. And let me see, this floor, you've got nine and a half foot ceilings, but let's take a look through here, pass through all the way. I love the dark woods. You've slowly the traditional feel, and you've got the modern style here. I love how ornamented that is. And you've got the built-in here with the detailing, and so you also have the rear deck, which we'll see. Great kitchen, which will go through. There are two levels above us and one level below. First level here, you've got a um, half bathroom. Love how bold those colors are. Let me see if I can turn on the light. Where's the light? Here it is. Really bold and fun. Let's go into the kitchen. A great yeah, kitchen here. There's Brendan R. Let's see what you hear. You've got both a mix of tall and short. There was a tall owner and a shorter owner, and they built a home that was really just uniquely special for them, but great for accessibility. Take a look at this. So you have a really lovely yard down here. I think you have three or four outdoor spaces here. So there's one out there, which is lovely. One down here, which is lovely. This area here, this area there, and that is our treat up there. Let's take a look first through this level. So remember, we've got this beautiful kitchen with the dining area here. Dining area, great kitchen, lots of cabinetry, really efficient workflow space, floor cabinetry, which is actually much more useful than you would think. Let's go upstairs. So, upstairs, we've got... Hey, hey how are you? Going on up here. You'd be really surprised at how much space there is here. So, we've got three, four bedrooms? Okay, here's the first room up here, front, low fixtures, low the medallion, super sharp. I think they might be from Cliffs or another great sort of uh, vintage hardware type of place. Number two, ceiling height on this level, in case you're wondering. Nine foot one. Love that they use the old doors, preserve the wood, create hardware and hinges. Over here, a fun bathroom. I mean, not quite where I would pick, but it doesn't matter because it works so well. It's one of those things that's like, yeah, brass could work. And you know, the, the scallop sinks really do go well. I mean, it's just unified. And it's, that to me is a sign of a really well thought out and very smart design. Smaller room here, but this leads into this room. I love that bed. It's really pretty. Getting with the medallion up there. And then this one has a little outdoor area. Great view of the skyline here. Taking a look back here, fire escape there. Views of the backside of Buena Vista and Gordon Heights Park. But let's go up. There's more. Usually this would be it. Oh, cedar line closet. A laundry chute there, which is great. So going up here, this is great. 
That is pretty cool. Skylight above. And kind of a secret room here. Built in. Which you can tell. You've got this front room here, which is really cool. A lot of times other places might not capture all this space, but this one definitely does. It's fun. Playroom, office, studio, chill out room, speakeasy, which you will hear about in a second. But this is also the primary bedroom suite, which we'll see in a second. First, of course, the bathroom, short one, tall one, beautiful shower. Look at that. Love the tile. And over here, urinal, toilet, and the bidet. Oh, you haven't, you need to come in fully to the bathroom and see, yeah, but, and out here, check out the, the bathroom, you really like it. And over here, this is closet, I guess not, but look at this. Yeah, then you have this. Is that, um, as you would get there, taking a look all around, really special, looking back down. Here. Whoops. Sorry, gimbal. Gimbal went crazy. They were back. Castle Theater is over there. This is really fantastic. Let's go back down. So, there is more to show you. In case we didn't see it. So, downstairs spaces are always difficult to do. This is a really interesting and special one. I love that this, uh, these are vinyl tiles. Take a look over here. This laundry here, which is great. Laundry, laundry. But this, a speakeasy. Isn't this great? So you've got, you know, the bar area here. And you find this is a really cool space. It's a speakeasy. <laughs> and then look at this bathroom. Very nature-y. I think I love this little sense of humor. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> and let's go out here to the outdoor space. And here we are. You've got some sprinklers overhead. And then this is at the end of... I remember we're upstairs. Here's that outdoor space. This looks relatively new. The steps. And the deck looks really nice as well. Take a look at this. Ooh, I love that. I think that might be an aspen tree back here. You've got a little babbling brook down here, which is really cool. Fire pit here. And take a look at that. Look at that. How neat is that? Well, but you didn't think that was behind the facade. So, 4444 20th Street. This was our friend Brandon Kearney over at Compass. Just really pretty special. Uh, lots of levels, lots of house, lots of uh, really cool features, and something that uh, I think is really special. All right, it's Kevin Ho. Thank you for walking along with us, and we will see you at the next one. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm.